Hey guys, I'm here in Guadalajara, area known as Chapultepec. I'm going to go into some record stores and pick out some 7 inches, just purely based on how the cover looks. Uh, no idea how they're going to sound. And then when I get back home, I'm going to play them and I'm going to show them to you guys. So here it goes. What's up guys? I'm back, freshly shaven, and I've been dying to check out these three records that I bought. So, let's get right into it. First up is El Llanto de Mi Madre, or My Mother's Crying, and it's by a group called Los Jairas. <laughs> Fucking cool. It's sort of folk, more traditional music, but I'm digging the pain of this record. Turns out this group formed in 1965, and this record dates all the way back to 1966. Totally has these Wes Anderson vibes. You can just imagine this in one of his movies. And like the whole record just has more and more amazing soundtrack songs. Skipping ahead. I mean, right? It's got every kind of mood on it. Seriously, if you're like a film score supervisor or whatever it's called. Don't sleep on Los Hydras. Okay, next let's check out Vuela Arco Iris Vuela, which translates to Fly Rainbow Fly. Turns out this was very clearly marked with the name of an airline um, celebrating their fifth anniversary. I, I probably should have known that before I bought it, but it's pretty interesting nonetheless. First of all, this intro, so epic. 
someone out there wants to sample it, I think you could get away with it. Solo basta una sonrisa para sembrar primaveras. So the guy seen in here is a Nicaraguan musician, Luis Enrique Mejia Godoy, apparently a pretty big musician there. This song, I believe, was commissioned to celebrate the fifth anniversary of the Nicaraguan airline company, Aronica. It's a pretty strange thing to come across just when you consider the country was in the midst of a civil war at this point. The Sandinistas were in power, and then the Contras were fighting them, and they were backed by the CIA. But looking on the record, I saw in very small letters it said, Sistema Nacional de Publicidad Nicaragua, which I believe translates to something like National Advertising System of Nicaragua. So I suspect this record was something put out by the government to try and boost tourism in the midst of a civil war you know, to try to make uh, people in other Latin American countries think of them more like this and less like... I guess. So anyway, onto the third record, the much-hyped Soviet brutalist architecture record that I just immediately pulled out of the lot. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I had high hopes for this one, and uh, you're just gonna have to hear what it is. So right away I was like, oh crap, what did I buy? And skipping ahead. It's a classical record. There's there's nothing special about this. So it turns out the building on the cover of this album is a German bank. I, I'm not going to be able to pronounce it, but I'll hold it close so you can read it. They would actually put out these records, you know, once a year or something as a promotional tool, you know, attract people to the bank. So here I thought somebody released this as this statement on modern society, brutalist architecture, you know, as some artistic statement. And no, they just put that building on there because that's their friggin' building. And the back of it, I don't know if that's their garden or if they're, it's a bank, so maybe they're trying to show you, hey, buy homes and have a beautiful garden. But... I don't know. I, I definitely got ripped off, but I think it's also pretty hilarious. This song was at least kind of fun, you know? Sort of a ballpark organ. And then playing it backwards. That's what I was kind of hoping for. I, I, I thought this was going to be some Stockhausen-like experimental electronic music. Anyway, lesson learned, you know, it's hard to uh, judge a record by its cover. I got kind of burned with these two, you know, they were both promotional records. And then this one turned out to be amazing. You know, I picked it out because I loved the gray and uh, how dramatic it looked. But at first glance, it doesn't look like much. So before I close out, I just want to say I had an amazing time in Mexico met some really awesome people. As you could hear, there are some really cool local bands there, so be sure to check some of those out. I'll link to them in the description. Also, during my last night in town, I got to hang out with a band called Los Huxleys. I met them through a follower of the channel, and this band is just amazing. It's just really cool, psychedelic folk music. I included them in the intro of the video, and I'm going to play more of them here in the outro. So definitely check those guys out as well. All right, that's all. Toodaloo.